everybody. I hope everybody's having a really good week this week. So this week, what's popping and dropping is a chapel pop-up card. And this is just a demo of it. And up here at the top, we have little, like, charms that we can switch out and put on it. So you could do a bell. And I also have a heart one you can put up here. Why don't we go ahead and head over to Design Space and I'm going to show all the pieces we need to cut out to make this project happen. I'll see you there. Okay guys, so here are all the basic pieces we need to make this card. And you are more than welcome to add anything to it that you would like to add to the card. Don't forget to go up and name and save your project. And why don't we go ahead and get these pieces cut out. And I'll meet you back at the craft table and I'll show you how to put this together. I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we are at the craft table, we can get our card base out and our pretty paper. And if you decided to do the shape that I cut out on these, um, the octagon is going to go on the right and then this one will go on our left and then these two go on the front. So I'm going to go ahead, work the score line, and we can glue our pretty paper down. So why don't we go ahead and do that? All right, guys, so we got our pretty paper on and it's looking pretty spiffy here. So what we can do is, why don't we get our pieces out for our chapel, which will be this piece, this piece, So first thing we can do is work our score line on our roof of our and then this piece we can work both ends here and then these two. And one will face towards you and one will face away from you for the tabs on the side. So it should look like this. And then the uh, same thing for the bottom. One's going to face towards you and one away from you. So should look something like this at the end when you're finished working the score lines 
and then we can just set it aside. Now, on our chapel, let's fold it in half. And then we're going to line these two flaps up, which it should when we fold it in half. And then we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to cut an angle off of it like so. And then we can just work the rest of our score lines on our chapel. And I'm going to snip the corners over here. You don't have to. I just think I can line it up just a little bit better. So we have this piece done. And while we have it, what we can do is go ahead and glue the tab on. So there's our tab. We're going to put little glue or tape and we are just going to fold it down to the tab and adhere it to it and then you just want to work it back and forth to make sure it's laying nicely and it's laying flat both ways very nicely so this is the back if you fold your piece flat like so this is going to be the back so that means that this piece right here is going to be the front of our chapel okay let's just give this a second to dry so while this dries if y'all know the little piece in the file there's a round piece of paper a circle and i did mine in the top in vinyl and i'm going to go ahead and weed this real quick Well, my vinyl piece didn't work out how I would like it, so I'm just going to compromise. So I'm just going to adjust how I do this today. I thought I was going to be able to get like the thin lines and they just kind of ripped up so what I think I'm gonna do is just take a pen and start making lines for my stained glass window
did our stained glass that will go on um, the front of our chapel. So we need to get the door. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put the roof on because I don't want it to cover up our stained glass. So we'll need this piece. And you just line this side piece in your chapel like so. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And you want to move it back and forth to make sure it's laying nice and flat. And this tab will face towards me and my other tab is going to go to the other side. like this and we're going to take our big roof and you'll just line the tab up to the score line And you want to try to make it as even as possible on each side of your roof. So that looks about right to me. So I'm going to take and fold this tab down and put a little glue on it. And then we'll just fold it down, turn it over, open it up, and put glue on the other tab. And then we're just going to fold the roof down. And let's give this a second to dry. And then we open it up and isn't that looking so cute? So now we can glue our little stained glass window onto our piece here
All right, guys, so we have our windows on our little chapel. And I did vinyl underneath to make it kind of look shiny like a window and then did um, cardstock on top for the black part. Okay, so it's looking so cute. Now we can get this piece here. And there's a score line here we need to fold and work. And then one in the next little triangle like section. And then another one just past this. And this little triangle again. And then our little tab at the end. Now, if you get them all nice and worked, this one is going to be mountain, valley, mountain, mountain, valley, mountain. And it will all fold up inside. So we'll just fold this in half, like so. And then this tab is going to glue to this side over here. Like so. And then these two pieces will line up like that. So let's just go over this again. We have a mountain, valley, mountain, mountain, valley, mountain. And we're going to take this little tab and glue it right here. Now it should be looking like one solid piece. And then we're just going to kind of squeeze it down. And line our two sticks up with each other. And then just on one of the sticks on the inside. So I'm going to do this back one. We're going to put a little glue. Okay, and then we're just going to add here those two sticks to each other. Now, once we have it glued together, you should have something that's looking like so. Now we can fold these little tabs on the bottom.
Now in this group, there is a slit that's already cut. You can see it right there. And we are just going to shimmy this pull through it. And if you feel like you're going to mess up your little pole, you could take something and go through the slit to make it easier. So once we have it through, it should look like that. And it should bump right against the top of this piece like so and then we just kind of want to center it as best as we can and then we're just going to put a little glue right here There's the glue, hold it down, then we're going to turn it over and do the same thing to this side. Just a little glue at the top, I do. Then once this is dried, you want to face your piece that's going to hold our little charm decoration up here towards our front door. So it will sit on the house, like, or the chapel, I should say, like, uh-oh, like so. So this piece needs to center on the top of this roof. And what we're going to do before we put this on is I'm going to use tape because I think it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to put tape just on our tabs here. up and then I'm going to make sure it's facing the right way so this needs to be facing our front door let's get them centered and that's what it's looking like from the front so now all we have to do is flip this little guy under and push him to the house or to the roof. And what I like to do is I'll fold it back, let it fall down like this, and give him a rub to make sure it's on there good. And then we'll take this side off and do the same thing. And then we have it. Isn't that so? cute what we're gonna do is fold this up like so and we're gonna line it up this slant into our score line and we just want to make sure our piece up here is not going outside of our card
So once you have it where you want it, which I think this is about where I'm going to put mine. And we're just going to put some glue on this tab. Shut it. Give it a rub. Turn it over. And put some glue on this side. and give it a second to dry and we open it up and it's looking so cute Now what we can do is choose whichever charm you wanted and I'm doing the double heart. And you just kind of start on the top or the bottom, whichever. And there we have the double hearts. And there's one thing we need to do. On these little corners on the back is curl them under just a little. And it will make it so easier for our, and I'll do all of them. You don't have to, but it'll make it easier for the uh, chapel to close. So much better all right now what we can do is
product. It says best wishes. We open it up and we have a little tuxedo and a wedding dress. And we did a ring over here. And then I just think our little chapel turned out so stinking cute. And on the back, what I did with this piece that's in your file, I just cut the little um, hoop off of this and then glued it to a back, the back so we have a place where we can write a personal message. And I just love how this turned out, guys. And we have made a little house out of this um before we just on this one made it a little bigger and added to the top but anyways do you guys know what the tuxedo said to the wedding dress i know you veil guys i want to thank you so much for stopping by and crafting with me throughout this whole year i appreciate each and every one of you and I just want to say I'm looking forward to next year to see what we come up with. Don't forget to stop by next week to see what's popping and dropping. Bye.